Hi, my name is Bert Stefani. I'm a professional photographer from Belgium and I've been asked by uh, Fujifilm Belgium um, to shoot a couple of pictures about a special tram they have um, driving around uh, Antwerp here uh, and the tram is completely uh, covered in uh, Fuji promotion advertising so it's basically a big camera. A camera I had with me but it didn't use too much is the X100S. Um, it's a great camera for street uh, photography and everything and I took some uh, decent shots with it but the lens is a bit too tight um, to get a tram in one piece uh, on, on the picture uh, but we definitely have some, some nice shots with the X100S. Um, the other camera, my main camera, is the X-Pro1 and as a backup I also had an X-E1 uh, with me too. They're basically interchangeable and instead of changing lenses I often just uh, change cameras. On a couple of occasions I shot with two cameras, starting with a, a longer lens on one camera and then taking over with the other camera with a shorter lens so I could make the most out of one passage of the tram. Uh, now when it comes to lenses, um, the 1855, this is the 1855, is a very good all-rounder and we shot definitely some really good shots with it. And I also took a couple of shots with the 55-200, the long zoom, trying to compress perspective. Uh, but in a busy city like this, uh, it was hard not to have too many uh, disturbing items in the foreground, cars, people. The lens that got the most use um, is the 18, uh, the 14 millimeter. Um, it's very wide, uh, which allows me to be close to the tram and still get the full tram on uh, the picture, or at least a big part of, of uh, the tram uh, in the image. Um, being so close and shooting with a wide angle gives a bit more drama and, and uh, a dynamic feel to the image. During the shoot, we used mainly three techniques. Uh, the first one we used is composition uh, and making your composition before the shot actually happened. The good thing about these trams is they come every couple of minutes. The X tram takes about an hour to come by, but there's a tram coming by pretty much um, every few minutes. So you can practice uh, and be ready uh, until the X tram actually uh, comes by. Um, the key is to find compositions that might work um, and also take a risk even though it means if you miss the shot and it happened a couple of times if you miss the shot it will take around an hour before you get a second chance uh, at the same location uh, but if you play it too safe you're only going to make pretty boring shots uh, we started out by just making sure we had some safe shots in the bag so we could uh, experiment more freely and be more creative uh, in the compositions that we try to make. The second technique we relied upon pretty heavily is panning. Using a slow shutter speed and just following your subject, making sure that your subject is sharp, but the background gets uh, all kind of streaked with blur uh, because of the slow shutter speed. Um, it takes a bit of practice, but once you get used to it, I shot uh, basically at 1 15th or maybe 1 30th of a second. Now, the Fuji shoot at um, six frames or three frames a second. So I used it on motor drive just to make sure that I had a couple of shots uh, because there's only one pass. I think today in a full day, uh, we, we encountered the tram uh, six or seven times. So um, you don't have many chances. So you want to maximize your opportunities uh, by using the motor drive in this case. The third technique we used a lot is just sheer simple improvisation. Uh, you have to be ready uh, to change the plan, you have to be ready to think on your feet uh, because sometimes things happen, there's too many variables that we can't control shooting in a city like this, um, so we have to adapt. Like sometimes uh, you are ready, you have the perfect composition and you just have to pull, uh, push the, the button uh, to get your picture and then a truck comes in front of the tram, something else happens, it's all possible uh, simply because we are in a busy city. In those cases it's important to be able to move quickly so don't take too much gear, 
Another thing that's important uh, when you have to improvise is to know your gear inside and out. Uh, and I do admit, although I am mainly a manual shooter, that I sometimes rely on aperture priority and definitely on the X100S. That is pretty reliable. Um, and I know that I rather have uh, an image that is like half a stop under or overexposed than no image at all, because I can save it in post-production. A picture that I didn't take, I can never save in post-production. I had a lot of fun today. I even learned uh, a couple of things. It's great fun to just go out uh, and have a client that trusts your creativity and your skill um, to do something with a pretty uh, broad assignment. Uh, but now I'm really tired, um, so I'm going to take my gear and I'm going to hop on a tram and go home. Hey.